Hey everyone, it's Kevin. Wouldn't it be great if you could take a 2D drawing and make it 3D in an instant? Well, that's what I was able to do with these pieces here. These were done using Monster Mash, a new framework for sketch-based 3D modeling and animation and shown at SIGGRAPH Asia 2020. This unique AI-powered tool allows you to draw in 2D, inflate that drawing in 3D, and then animate it, all in a single viewpoint without ever adjusting the camera. Their approach to this was to create a tool for 3D animation that would allow artists to casually express a creative thought. Have you ever had an idea that you wanted to test out, but technical details got in the way? Especially in animation, where that can involve modeling and rigging, which can be pretty labor-intensive. This tool would help in simplifying that process by making 3D animation more accessible to beginners while allowing professional creatives a way to ideate quickly. How this works is that the drawn strokes are seen as 2D layers, connected and then inflated. The order that the strokes are drawn in will influence the depth order for each of the parts. The user can also specify if a stroke should be symmetrical to each side of the mesh. Once the strokes are drawn, they're converted into planar regions and connected using complex math. Then, with layering constraints and a shape-preserving deformation model, the mesh is inflated at the appropriate depth. Let's try this out. Here I have a quick illustration. I'm going to import this into the demo as a template. Then I'll start tracing over the shapes and limbs. Once that's done, I'm going to inflate it. And now I have a model that I can animate. You can also export this mesh and import it into Blender if you'd like. As it's a prototype, this is not without some limitations, like depth proportions and some regions when texturing, but I'm excited to see where this amazing technology goes in the future. If you'd like to look at the research paper or test out the web demo, you can find it in the description below. They also have plenty of examples you can check out. Have fun experimenting!